welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You already know the vibes. We got our boy in on Let's Wine About It, Dev the Vixen. Okay. Woo! It's a party, it's a party. So you already know, we already tried this episode a little bit before, but now we're coming back and that's her. Dev, how are you doing? Um, Let's Wine About It. Let's wine about it. <laughs> I feel great though. I feel good. I'm a Look little. Good. Thank you. I'm a little. Little, little smith. Smith. Little smith. Yeah. So yeah, let's get into it for sure. All right. Hey y'all. Y'all know what? Out with me. I'm ready to drink. I'm ready to get to the tea. I know I keep clapping, but I'm okay. <laughs> Hold the mic as I assemble this drink, friend. Will do. All right. Get into it. Not too much. We got our ice up featuring our Empress Gin. We love this gin. We know we are not in a generation of gin drinkers, uh -huh. but we we just absolutely love it. It it, it takes you there. You and won't quick. have a hangover very quick. <laughs> quick. Okay. Very quick. Insert clip because y'all know what I'm about. Please, to say. can I have a bottle of gin? Gin? Can I can I get a fucking bottle of gin? Hey. And as you can see, it is purple. It's made with butterfly pea tea. I mean, well, pea flower. Mm -hmm. So it's good, actually good for inflammation, for the skin and all that stuff. But hey, let's just get into it real quick. Add your ice. Don't forget the ice. On chill. Ooh. Don't even worry about it. Come on, about that. You already know it. If it ain't me, I will never make a mess. But it is me, so I'll make a mess. Two ounces of this. Mm -hmm. A little bit of ounce, half ounce, a simple. What kind of syrup is that? Simple syrup. It's, it's basically just, like sugar. Yes. Oh, in okay. liquid form. Yep. A little bit of that. And yep, then yep. we're going to get our honey. Sing it with me. Miss Honey. Uh -uh. Miss Honey. Uh -uh. Miss Honey. Honey. Hey. <laughs> and then we got another one and another one we're gonna try this edible glitter again y'all yeah let's do it. we're gonna shake it into this drink instead yeah yep. it's so cute it's like pixie does <laughs> all right come out my oh, never mind. Say, okay <laughs> all right so smash want to do the honors or are you scared to Good. Okay. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, it's giving bartender. Shake, shake, shake. Yay. Hey, shake that cuddle. Hey. Oh, I know that's why. Shake that shit, Dev. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> shake it like somebody stole from you. God damn. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking go. about. And then you that's shaking, baby. Oh, get the strainer. You gotta smack it like you know somebody. <laughs> 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 How you say that out? There we go. Oh. Can't be scared of that thing. That's that bartender in you. <laughs> you too, bartender, y'all. All right, y'all. Moment of truth. Pull up. Pull you know, up. You want to hold it out, Get a little. Yeah. Close up. Ooh. very beautiful that is that's like a periwinkle it right? is that's another thing i like about indigo it makes such a beautiful martini yeah you cannot deny that beautiful purple tint to that gin and start clip again <laughs> gin please can i have a bottle of gin gin can i can i get a fucking bottle of gin <laughs> <laughs> And again, thank you. Okay. <laughs> this is just so pretty. Like, and then we're gonna top it off with a little bit of Sprite. Yeah. And welcome back to wherever it dropped. Take a shot. Ain't that right, Sin? Yeah, you can call me Drinko <laughs> today, baby. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start it off over here with Deb. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if he's Let's got to take it. make it in the glass. The object is to make it in. Did he make it? But whatever it dropped. Yep, he sure did. Okay. Oh, yep, it's a little baby shot. Congratulations. 
You didn't. You didn't do too bad. Right. So I. And you made it in the white shot. one. You got That's it. That's why we watched the tips before we did it. Yeah. In the glasses. Watch well, y'all game. If it. Yeah. Okay. Before. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Always <laughs> eliminated. We gonna oh, we take you take it out. Okay. Okay, your turn to tell you. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no okay. Oh, shit. Where'd it go behind? I don't know. I think it went behind this one. I think so too. It did. Oh. Damn. Like, I'm at the worst first. Okay, this ain't too bad. <laughs> it's a half a shot. Go ahead, friend. Go ahead and take that. Fucking we ball. Broop. How'd that feel? She needed a stiff one this morning. I feel like a little peaches <laughs> and eggs plant. <laughs> she went fucking <laughs> <nothing else. laughs> <laughs> Okay. Your turn again. Last round, y'all. We just trying to get a little warmed up. Yeah. Now you only got no shot because you're too saying? off the damn thing. What is that? I had fly off my thing. How? How it fly? We gonna go with I. Ah, you lucky little. Next time, this round, wherever you're the closest to is the shot you take. Go tell you. Cause how did he cheat? How, how did, did I, I cheat? cheat? How did her tip fly? Fly. <laughs> how did I cheat? What you Replay. Yay! Her tea. It she wanted me to take one so bad. Well, that's a good time, though. It is. It is. Okay, so mine's either D or N. I'm going to do this. Oh, wait. <laughs> Yours flew. <laughs> mine's in it flew. It landed. Okay, I'm going to do it. She's going. I was like, <laughs> Y'all, why do I always do stuff like this to myself? Oh, good. Good Google it. <laughs> That's what they say. You trying to kill me. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to pace myself. I'm not taking this shot on camera because I'm a lady. Girl, if you want to take this goddamn shot. I have to take it on camera? Yes, we did. Y'all have. Okay, okay, okay. You ain't got to take the whole thing. Just take half of it. Never mind. <laughs> That's what's up. It's too <laughs> late now. Anywho. We about to be on the couch, so let's whine about it with our drinks. Ain't it cute? Oh, cheers. Cheers. Hey, y'all. All right. So, on the couch, so let's whine about it. We about to get into these, like, little icebreakers or whatever. So, I might have, like, a little something, something for us. Um, Let's see. 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 Hmm. What's the icebreaker? I'm about to ask a question real quick. Ask who a question, Dev? Yeah. Okay, cool. Another ask them a question. Let's do it. Um, when and where did you have your first kiss at? Um, in, in my homegirl's mama's car. <laughs> it was with a girl, and it's crazy because she's a stud now. <laughs> and that was my first kiss in her mama's car. Never forget it. We was like in what sixth grade, and I mean, we was oh, slobbing. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Open your mouth. <laughs> Mia, but she's a stud now. She's That's so crazy. Is she cute? Is she cute? Is it a, a, cute, a cute stud? Anywho, tell you when was your <laughs> first kiss? My first kiss was in the church. I could see that. I mean, that's, I mean, that's yeah, it was in the church. He was kissing a church boy. Like I remember his name. His name was Thaddeus, only because that's such a weird name. I know what that is. I remember my yeah. name too. Well, how old was you? I was like maybe like six, five. I was five when I had my first kiss. Uh, it was in kindergarten and they're doing nap time on the cot. Uh, Not the nap time. It's always go down to the nap time chair. And the little boy. And I remember his name too because all of my niggas, for some reason, all of my niggas from elementary school to like 21, mm -hmm. name had Sean and it was Tashawn, Rayshawn, Rashawn, Sean, 
literally. And his name, his my first kiss name was That's Tashaun. So that was crazy. my first boyfriend. And he used to always grab my hand and kiss my hand. That's so then, weird. Oh, yeah, and then after a while, I just like kiss these lips, boy. <laughs> first of all, Cynthia. Cynthia. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> Over it. You got an icebreaker, Cynthia? To my phone is oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. I think I still have an icebreaker. Okay. I'm trying to remember everything that I wrote down. I got you. Okay, okay, how about this? If you was in the Illuminati, what family member would you sacrifice? What? <laughs> Excuse me? I'm not answering that. I'm not, I'm not. Shut <laughs> I, I might as well just drink to it. Go ahead and sip. Go ahead and sip. Okay. I ain't gonna answer it either, but the whole family knows my answer. Oh, that should have wow. been sip or spill. Oh, that should have been a good one. It's gonna be on. It's gonna be yeah. Yeah. Gonna, oh, we ain't gonna shit. say too much, but it's gonna wow. be on that. I can't get right with this martini glass. I'm a wine bitch. <laughs> hey, it's your bar. <laughs> um, what was the worst ass whooping you handed somebody? The worst. All time. I'm, I'm talking about yeah. whoop that. Wow, house in that hole. So this is my working at Circle K. <laughs> oh no. This is my top. first gas. Yeah, this is my first gas station got job. This was back in like 2019, and this man, well, it was this girl that was working at the store. Uh huh. And her boy, her, her boyfriend came in there arguing, whatever. Woo 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 woo. And okay. <laughs> and. Color. So he came in there, they arguing. Da, da, da. So I'm like, hey, get get out of the stove with all of that. This, that, that, that. He's like, oh, you don't tell me what to do. Yeah. Oh. 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 Handed it to him. Cousin. Handed it to him. I be waiting my whole life. Move, 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 move. He tried to go. Bumba cut her off. Exactly. You gotta get your ass out of here. Put this bitch in the motherfucking Bumba Rod's clock. Come on. Anywho. Okay. Yes, okay, so you had to tell a white person what the fuck you had going on. Yeah, he got to put me in the headlock, too. <gasps> I had a, I had a do-rag on, so I slipped out of that motherfucker. <laughs> mow, mow, keep him in the stomach. He on the ground, ugh, ugh, please, please. And I told and him no, straight please. up, and I told him straight up, if you call the police on me, every time I see you, I'm going to whoop your ass. That and anyone else crazy, he got my job after I got fired. You got you got fired after that altercation. And he got my job. Good because what? he was off to better, and he was still gonna be at Circle K. Even though I ain't gonna lie, I'm not hating on Circle K. They pay you every week. It's an easy job. You be chilling. So I'm not hating on Circle K. Sometimes I'm like, damn, she still work at a gas station part time. But they ain't a, that crossed my mind too. A couple times. <laughs> every week you say. <laughs> so. Should I say the worst ass whoop or should I just move on to the next question? Let's just move on to the next question. Okay, period. But all I know is the last person who asked, I whoop, I whooped that ass about three, four times. Um, let's see. Okay, Dev. This is not has to do with a current relationship. Yeah. Just in life. In, rela- in a relationship, have you ever cheated on somebody? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. But and why? And Quick why? in a hurry. Because I'm young and tired. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel yeah, that. Right, I right, feel right. that. I feel that. I feel like, me personally, I just feel like everybody should, everybody didn't cheat. I agree. Well, everybody didn't cheat. I've never cheated. Don't be the people who don't want to admit to it. Be like, well, we were on the break, bitch. You no, cheated. you cheated. That was like, everybody didn't cheat. And I'm not even scared to admit that I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat before. So, I not mean. too bad, but I have. But it just depends on the person, though. Because me, I, I I won't cheat on the right person. Me neither. I but if I know in my mind that you're not good with me, but I still want to, you know. I, I'm going to cheat on you. But, if you yeah. cheat on me, <laughs> I might not cheat back. But it's a chance that I may. And I promise you, every time I done cheated, I I didn't just fuck somebody else. That's the difference. I was in a, I had two boyfriends. My side nigga was picking me up from work every day, coming to family gatherings sometimes. Motherfucking, I'm at his family gathering sometimes. We literally like locked yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I don't even want to cheat because yeah. I already know how how I how I have. 
men. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing good this year, y'all. I did not say the N word. I know how I have men you did. when I do it. No, I did not. In the beginning. No, I didn't. <laughs> we gonna replay it. All of my niggas, for some reason, all of my niggas from elementary school. Anywho. <laughs> Anywho. Okay. So, have I ever cheated? I wouldn't necessarily call it cheating. Because I wouldn't necessarily think that I was in a relationship, but it was heavy. It was heavy on it. You feel me? But it was never that. Yo. Yo. With that being said, I don't consider it cheating. I was just living my best life at the moment. So basically, if you're in a situation, no matter how hot and heavy it is, if you ain't my nigga, it ain't cheating. Period. Okay. Topic. We got two topics, two celebrities, or two socialites, two whatever. How you feel, Dev? How you feel about Gypsy? Miss Gypsy How you feel about Bones. her being free? How you feel about the situation, for real? I just want people to let her live. You want her to okay. let her live? Okay. The so, thing. with the situation, let live. whoever don't know about Gypsy Rose, Gypsy Rose was a girl that was being mothered by a person that, a, a mother that was basically torturing her and making her sick when she was never a sick child. Pretending. Pretending to be sick. So she would actually like, she actually got her teeth pulled all out. She actually got her, um, um, she was actually had a whole pantry of med- of medication just for her. Um, she was forced to have a feeding tube also by her mother because they claim her mother just kept claiming for every doctor, oh, we lost our um, stuff in Katrina because she's um, she's New from Orleans. New Orleans. Bitch from the dirty. So, yeah. so, so I see her mom was just basically kept saying like, oh no, something's wrong with my daughter. Something's wrong with my daughter. And then eventually Gypsy noticed like, am I really me. sick? Like what's going on with me? Little did she know her mom was saying that she was like sick, 14, 16. This woman is 22 years old at the time. Like she's like, she's like very, very old. Okay. Not 22, but like, 18, don't quote me 17. on don't quote me on the age, but just know it was far off from what her age actually was. Okay, Dale. So here's the question. Talia feels like she was low key warranted for what she her and her boyfriend did. And I feel like she's warranted, but she still deserves to go to jail because at a certain point, exactly, but you was like arguing me down and I was like, she needed to go to jail because they still killed that woman when you was old enough, you found out she was old enough. To walk the fuck away. You had a nigga. You could have started a new life. But yeah. instead you decided to go back and kill that lady. So it's like you low-key was making it seem like it was like they should have. But she, she did run to to away. She I did. feel like she had to go to jail. That bitch was crazy. She did run away. Her mom found her within an hour. Took her back. Chained her to the bed. For like a long, for like a long ass time. She would, she would like be her. Whatever. If she like went out of line and people just came up to ask questions or anything like that, this woman would drug her to make her feel like she was slow. But once like, you already found out, how do you go back and still live the life? It's, all it's the, like at the end of the day, it, it was given very like every time she drugs her, she's like, oh, yeah, I got something for this bitch. I'm going to kill this. So instead of just walking the fuck, I'm sorry. my, my if that, At that point, if my this. mom is like 45, 50 years old. You mean to tell me you were too scared? And to manipulate it after you knew the truth to walk away, you had to kill her? Think of this real quick. This is like the same situation where it comes to like domestic violence. Why don't women mostly leave at that time when they're getting beat the fuck up and stuff like that? This is coming from a woman that's been like on her ass, never like left her side, manipulating her, drugging her. Putting an actual feeding tube when she doesn't need a feeding tube inside of her. And like when she wanted to walk away from the situation and like being that she don't doesn't know what to do about the situation. Of course, she's going to do whatever she thinks might be right. But at that just time. like in domestic violence, you have the choice to walk away and choose yourself. You have the choice to get police involved or you have the choice to kill that nigga. It's too many women who have walked away from domestic violence situation, no matter if they was in there for 15 years to five years to just a few months and was able to live a better life because they actually cut the fucking cord. 
Then it's the cuckoo ones that's like, I can't walk away, so I gotta kill this nigga. Like, bro, you can that cannot be your resolution every fucking time. So our question to Deb is, do you agree with Talia that she is innocent and she should have killed her mother? I never said she was innocent. Okay, but you see how the conversation just went. Deb. I never you said see? she was innocent. Okay, the, the question is, this just ignore what I just said. The question is, do you feel like she was innocent? And she didn't deserve to go to jail, or do you feel like she should have did some time for setting up for her mother to be killed, no matter like what she went through? Like, how you feel? Do you really want me to be honest? Yeah. Do you really want me to be honest? It, it, even if you don't agree with me, I just I want to know. You would have killed that bitch. Yeah. If she put me through all of that, but like she said, I'm not gonna lie. Like she said, when it comes to shit like that, it's just shit like that you don't let go of. So you gonna always carry around that hate and your it, all that hate go build up for that one person. So you gonna want to do some shit like that. Mm -hmm. So I felt like she that was that's basically self defense. That's basically self defense. That's what she, she already said. She she already did her time. She's already been in jail. Yeah, yeah, she served yeah. her time of conducting the actual murder. She yeah. did her time for that. Because you're not at but, the end of the day, you're not a good person. You're not either way. Either way, you're not a good person. Even if. She Justice killed her. Yeah, yeah, you killed her. Okay, but what she did to you, you're not a good person. So when with you not being a good person, you think God gonna have a plan out for you if you're not a good person? Even her Your own, karma is gonna come back to you. Her own parents said, "Put her ashes in the toilet." We have not. We want nothing to do with this lady. Because her mom you know was just that person. fucked up. That's it. Like, Before she had gypsy. Like, to me, that's just like kind of telling somebody who got raped or whatever the fuck the case may be, not to go back and kill the person that raped them. I feel like if I'm getting raped in that... Okay, never mind. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> okay, next question. Lil Nas. Okay, you, you seen have Lil Nas. You, yeah, have you seen Lil Nas X and his whole debauchery of... Um, Jesus Christ and him being crucified on the cross. Yes. I don't care. You don't care? I'm not I wouldn't say I don't care, but at the same time, I just don't take it that serious how everybody's taking it that serious. Like I'm just like Cause he's doing he's trolling. Like I He's mean, a troll. He's trolling. That he wants y'all to talk. He wants y'all to do shit. And if you want to be honest, it sounds just like the rest of his fucking music. Let's be honest, people. It does, but let's think about it. If he was to do that with in a Jewish in a situation, yeah. what would actually happen to him if he was to do that in like any other religion? Ah, uh, I'm gonna be honest. Do you think you. he would get the same backlash? No, or even worse because it, well, maybe even worse. But I also feel like if he was a white man, they would not say nothing to him. Is this a white man being a <laughs> like, I, I don't around. think it's like, and then on top of that, for that. Uh, like for people to be like, oh, but well, for my people to be, be be so upset about it it's just like uh I, I mean i get it why people are so upset about it but it's like why are we being like we've been literally been lied to our whole life yeah we have <laughs> like we don't know like i mean and then on top of that it's just like okay yeah. y'all making it seem like oh yeah he's gay or whatever the case may be but the man who we was taught to think that was Jesus was a gay man. Thank you. Was, I was a gay man, that. and the man yep. that painted the picture of the white Jesus was his boyfriend. Oh, white Jesus! <laughs> like, that's why I'm like, uh, he painted yeah. a mural of the best okay, the man, beater and the best eater of the man and he was in, Jesus. and the man he was in love with. It's all because of the Catholic Church. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. So <laughs> that's why I'm just like all this outrage. Let's be for real here, people. Ooh, I like, like that. I like something new today. I did not. Like, I never knew yeah, that. That was. But I believe it wholeheartedly. Because you know that. He looks like there, I don't want to speak on too too many people's religions, so I'm just gonna shut up. But you. Did you? Yep. <laughs> did you hear about that motherfucking shit in New York? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's why nobody fuck with the Pope now. And the priests. But did you hear about the shit in New York? What the underground the underground tunnels that they found oh. at that um expansion that they were saying that they had for um the Jew the Jewish temple or whatever oh. in New York. They the found shit? mattresses, soil. Did you hear about the shit that happened in Texas though? Soil, soiled mattresses, friend. Upstate uh, in in New York, 
in a Jew uh, up under a Jewish temple, that unmarked makes tunnels. Me so sad. That's fucked up. This is little Talk you off a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. You there for a little bit okay. Right now. I will. But yes, friends, in New York, they well, got the busted. Black, Here. Of that butterfly spills tea. Anywho, but yes, shit was wild. I just, that's the that's just crazy to me. Like <laughs> Oh, and Epstein, we gotta we gotta Epstein's we gotta list. What you know about Epstein's list and what you wanna Man, say? All I know is I'm just glad my girl wasn't on there. My girl. Oh, Michelle Obama. Beyonce. 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 Okay. She wasn't on there, so we good. Nah, no, she was people... just on that flight log that everybody said that she was on. But uh, that shit was speculation. I feel like a lot of people were just saying shit just so they can go viral and everything was getting posted. Mm-hmm. Nothing. But you know like, what? Like, what? Half of the people they said was on that list was not, not on that, on that list. list. Yeah. Barack Obama and Michelle Obama was not on that list. Why would y'all even play? But hold what on. They like that? Hold on. Motherfuckers was stopped, the stopped at a certain point where they couldn't where they didn't have to put their name on there they paid certain amounts of money because they was said that most of these people were not gonna have their name on there i have a question did he i have a question so what were they doing like okay so i get the whole epstein thing but what was like actually going on like what are they saying oh. that was going on on, on the epstein, epstein? I, now, I, I got understand you. the whole now, now, i, 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 I heard about first though i gotta say go ahead first. my ex is african mm-hmm. and he's african african like born in africa raised in africa yeah came to america got his visa still go to africa at least three times a year he said people go to out places out of the country because they don't have a set of laws so if they want to fuck somebody that's twelve years old, they cannot get in so trouble. So that's for what that. That's, yes, that like what you that got to go to a remote location. Yes, where it's like no matter what you did, yes. if you're in that place when you did it, you can't get in trouble for it. Wow. You were not breaking the law. Yeah, that's why people go to deep. Brazil, some parts of the Dominican Republic. That should make my heart hurt. Those parts of South South Africa. Yes, they actually do that. They actually do it. So wow. Epstein's Island was basically. Uh, and Ghislaine, Ghislaine Maxwell was his basically his girlfriend. They scouted, Ghislaine? they scouted women. Basically, was it like the models? To, and, it was. This what they it was like, like models. Naomi was a part of. And, Naomi was a part of that, or allegedly maybe be a part of that, but she is on that list. Um, mm. Oprah was on that list too as well. Um, so my thing well, is, Naomi what they Loki do, got a nasty ass attitude, and I hate to say it because she's such too. a bad bitch. But her attitude is fucking disgusting. Yes. She's so uppity and on uh, the highest of high horse, which I get it. You're a bad bitch. You and Naomi Campbell. But it's still like, as a black woman who was groundbreaking in a certain industry, it's sometimes you like got to hug the other people that's under you and not talk down on them. Well, in some instances, I did see her like, um, I I was watching America's Next Time I was heavy as fuck and she was I think she was on one of them shows and then I'm sorry one of the white girls had said something about the black girl and she said cut the cameras oh Naomi don't fuck play is you? like what she makes you play. think you better than anybody else than a black woman like that's just we gonna cut that but hair. she only but, did that because it was somebody under her if it was somebody over her that bitch would have been that's why Tyra and Naomi kind of had a few because the industry put them against each other. But let's just get back into this list. What F- he was basically scouting out un- basically unmarked girls, you know, girls that didn't have nothing to lose, basically. Mm-hmm. And they would be going to the parties, the hot top, the top knot meetings and stuff like that, giving services, massages and stuff like that. So he would have that on that island. And so mm-hmm. my thing is, Probably half the people that was probably on there and didn't go back on there was like, oh, let's just go to the island and party. We don't know what it's really about. So that's probably why they were on that flight log. But if it's like a repeating kind of thing, yeah, you was doing something on that island for sure. It's a lot of stuff that's on that island that people don't realize, like Ghislaine Maxwell and Epstein, that's a whole nother fucking ball game. I'm telling you guys, like, that's like the, that's like, one percent type stuff like but my whole thing is like did Epstein kill himself claiming that he killed himself 
He made oh, So it. if he did kill himself, I feel like that should just prove to everybody that the motherfucker it's is guilty. guilty. Yeah. Uh, like, like, if somebody always kills himself, I know y'all watch Power. Yeah, you like to get the ego just to get out of bullshit. You go get, yeah. you go do it. Because there's nothing else you can do to avoid prison and so, maximum maximum sentencing. And kill himself. Yeah, so kill himself. Epstein's Island is definitely full of sinister things that are so much do, unspeakable. That should be girl, a tourist attraction. It's so, definitely a tourist attraction. It's wait, like on YouTube. Wait, travel. Let's go. Wait, this bitch. Wait. Wait. Hold the phone. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's not. So, so <laughs> is Epstein Island like abandoned now, or is it like still people? That, it's still, is it girls that live on? No, that nobody's island? there. It is still there. Um, is it a house? It's, people it's, a, big, it's a big old house. It's a bunch of Ooh. underground tunnels. I gotta show y'all. No, it's so, so now I wanna. So no. is it one house on an island? It's like near the U.S. Virgin Islands, and you want to know what's going on. It is on like island? all of the land. Yeah, it is, it's it very is, inexpensive yeah. to travel to the Virgin Islands. Mm-hmm. I was talking to my family, like, let's just look. Like, yeah, it's um near the Virgin Islands around that area. Um, the it's the shape of it is a dick. Yes. Really? And the there are birds. And the address of it is allegedly sixty nine Key Bottom. Somebody paid and renamed that shit. So is he fucking just girls or he fucking boys too? I thought they do both. Both, 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 both for sure. Just know it's very much underage. Yeah, yeah, they know boys. Underage and unmarked women. That's so sad. Yeah, it's really fucked up. So because even as a child, if you agree, even if as a child, if you agree to it for whatever reason, you don't know as a child how fucked up these people are. That's what I'm telling you. The political party. It's nothing like they're really sick in the head. That's why I just never trust the government. You gotta think about on how many missing children are coming up. Yeah. It's so like it's a lot of underground tunnels that they don't cover it. Disneyland are up under like Disneyland definitely has a lot of tunnels and shit for under it's a lot of stories behind it. You trying to talk about a bitch turning into the man from taking the day I go to Disneyland and my motherfucking son turned up fucking missing? I'm catching bites. I don't but know one thing I heard about no. it, now, but that, that's not the thing with Disneyland. Disneyland with me, it's always been secrets with Disneyland and how like they were. Y'all see, I mean, the little Sex Mystery thing was in Pennsylvania, but um, I've been to Disneyland, but I don't know if as a child I'm overlooking certain things because I'm so excited for the thing. I feel like I won't be able to really be a clear judge of that until I, as an adult take my child and see how shit, because children don't know this shit. My son don't know this shit. I swear to God, so many adults who be on some weird ass time. And my son's the type of child, if he in the grocery store, and if y'all walk past them, we're like, hi, how are you? But so be like, I'd be like, Ty, stop speaking to bitches. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna fucking say something. But some people are really fucking negative towards Man, kids. kids. And kids don't, don't like even kids. notice it because kids just being, Happy, yeah, like, they're not thinking like that. Yeah. But y'all... The day my son was somebody else, I can't wait. I'm getting him on The deep state and the dark web is crazy. The higher ups, the 1%, y'all ain't even want to dig into that. Y'all ain't even know our community is ready for that type of discussion. But, we're going to dig into something lighter. Um... Let's see. Mm. Sin. Sin, sin. Sin, city. Sin, city. Who sin, got the keys to my bini? Oh, I like that. Hold on. Let me see. I have so many weird questions, honestly. I don't even know where to start. It's so many good. Oh, my God. Just Okay, I'm gonna, I'm y'all, okay, where the bottle at? Because we don't need a bottle for this. Because I got a feeling a lot of bitches gonna be t- taking shots. Because I might take a shot because I don't even got time to read a bitch the way I want to. Okay, so is it a game that we're about to play? Okay, so here's the deal. We are about to drop a card game. 
It's either gonna call be called. I ain't gonna tell you what it's gonna be called, but it's something dealing with the name of our show. Okay. At the end of the day, it's gonna be like you either spill the tea or you take the shot. We were supposed to have the prototypes ready for this episode, but both I and Talia were a little behind. What was you doing to people that? I don't give a fuck. It's good that they know. We are honest to our audiences. Either way, I got hella questions written up that told you in these parts. And it, it just rang us from a lot. So I'm just gonna ask this question. We're gonna see if bitches wanna get the bottle, cause I I, I can guarantee you bitches gonna get the bottle. <laughs> or they gonna motherfucking tell the tea. Boom. Out of your friend group, who do you think is the fakest slash worst friend? What and why? Y'all gonna y'all gonna spill it? No, I'm Cause I think Tyra grabbed the shot. She got a real quick. Soon as I say out of your friend group, bitch ass left the couch. I'm not saying shit. So give me a shot. Give me a shot too, because <laughs> this this game is meant to get you fucked All I hang around, all I hang around is women. I love I'm that. not starting shit. So, but but everybody sure. does have an answer to the question. I do have an answer. Me I'm too. Not saying, that's it. I'm not saying shit. Me too. Thank you. I got a hell of an answer. Okay. Oh, you already right. took it. Okay. Here we go. The camera. I'm gonna teach the man now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. We done. I'm Devin, your cousin. Follow me on TikTok at Devin the Video Vixen. Follow me on Instagram at Cordell Next Door underscore. Call, uh, follow me on Twitter at Devin underscore Gibson 15. Okay. Let's get into the vibes. My birthday is in 16, about 15, 16, 17. I don't, I don't know. Days. I turn 26. If you want to send me birthday presents, let's get into it. Yeah. I'm a motherfucker like my...